Carl Johnson is not driving like a bad man. We're down. What's the update? Pretty slow fishing so far this morning. We're going to be out here about, what, 45 minutes or so, and we haven't had a takedown yet. Already lost some, a uh, couple jigs, and seeing fish around, but it's not doing nothing yet. So maybe a bite will happen here in the next half hour. So. All right, one cast. What's your update? Nothing going on here. We use different cures, lures, colors, spinners. What you throwing? What you throwing? What you throwing? Bobbers. And now we're using the Fox Five Neon Yellow treble hook. No nothing. luck. No, nothing. Out here. All right, one cast. What are we about to do right now, one cast? About to have a challenge. See if we can make it all the way across the river. All right, here's a Fox Five. All right, go ahead, go, ahead. go ahead, one cast. It's just a flick of the wrist, guys. Hey, right there. You hear that slap? Yeah, that was that was trash. Right, guys. So I'm gonna be throwing Fox Six. We gotta unsnag. Try to get it without breaking all the gear off. Nope. Well, that's how you do it and lose all the gear. <laughs> Bobber mic broke off our bobber rig and we're going to show you how to re-rig. First we're going to put a bobber stop on. Slide your main line through the tube, pull some line out, pull your tube down and out and cinch your tag ends together. And then we'll go put a bead on, small enough bead so that it won't go over the bobber stop. It's a little guy like so. And go with a bigger bead on top of the bobber. Boom, and then we're gonna feed our line through our bobber. And just feed the line on down through. Boom, like that. Another bead on the bottom. I will say some guys like to use corkies on the top of the bobber. Either way works, doesn't really matter. It's just how I do it and it works. Bam. And then we're gonna tie our main line to a swivel. We're doing a true clinch knot. So you go in the eye, come back around through. Like seven, eight twists. Tie her down nice and good and we're all set there for our main line. Right here, my leader is a 30 pound uh, Maxima chameleon line. And five odd, uh, it's either five or six odd, I can't remember, some sort of hooks from Fishfield. Again, we'll do another clinch knot or improved clinch knot. And always wet your line before you cinch your knots down so you don't burn them or anything. Uh, make us a little dropper line here. And you don't need to do nothing special with this. Now, some guys will run inline torpedo weights. That works too. All rigged up. We got our bobber stop, which is adjustable. Down to a bead. I don't know what size. Down to another bead a little bigger so it don't go through the bobber. We got a one and a half ounce float fish field. These work really good, easy to see, especially at dusk. Down to our swivel, another bead. Weight dropper, about a one and a half ounce float. You can get away with two ounces with these. Down to a 30 pound liter and a six odd hook. Single point, good to go, ready to fish. Down. Hook the fish, one cast is reeling it in. Right 
Check this out. All the way up and through, damn near through the eye. Yeah, he wasn't getting off there. There he is. It's a good color too, huh? Mm -hmm. Damn, that's our first keeper here, guys. Finally, shit. Here, here, clean them off too. You want to see them real quick? Yeah. Wash them off. You've been most successful with the salmon eggs? Yeah. That's what we've been hooking them on. Wow. Seen a couple hook on spinners and one on a jig the last couple weeks. See a little coho salmon there. There you go, buddy. That's cool. All the way up from the ocean. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yep. Oh, we just landed a little hatchery coho buck. He's a little colored up, but he's still cut good out here on the Sandy River. First uh, hatchery fish for me this year, after about seven or eight trips. Be a nice little eater on the uh, barbecue. It won't cast. Where's your fish at? Where's your fish at? Oh, it's back here? Yeah, it's in the cooler. Oh, it's in here? Yeah, I'm gonna look at it. Yeah, there's two of them in there. Nice little coho buck. He's a little colored up, but should should eat well. We'll count this up to being a uh, lucky fish. They must have just got the bait right in front of them or something. Where's your lucky fish? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it. nice. it's in the cooler. Yeah, nice. Guys, well, we left. We left the the sandy, and now we're at a. I think it's a pond behind FedEx on Marine Drive. We heard there's a giant carp here. We don't know the name or anything. Something starts with a C. It's a... It's a, I don't know pond. That's what that, what this pond is. Supposedly, yeah, there's supposed to be big old carp in here. It's kind of hard to fish it though with all these weeds in the way and all that. Probably be better down on the other end it look like, but. What you doing over there? One cast, what you doing over there? I was looking at these plants over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bobber now, what you what are you doing? Fuck take care of business, dude. God damn. <laughs> we had one keeper coho and other than that, no success. For me in one cast two days in a row. Alright, I'm headshot. I'm out. Cast out. Dome's out. Alright guys, hey remember to subscribe.